Okay, kids and adults, you guys get to do this as well because we're about to play a game. We're going to play the game that's called Which One's My Dad? <laughs> so there are some photos. Your job is to pick which one's my dad. If you think it's A, you do this. If it's B, if it's C, if it's D. Which one's my dad? <laughs> okay, mo most people going A. Anyone going for B, C, or D? Anyone? <laughs> yep, that's A. A is definitely my dad. B, I have no idea who that is. I just found that picture on the internet. C is my father-in-law, and D, it's not me when I was better looking, that's my brother. <laughs> so kids, how did you know that was my dad? How, how did you work it out? I saw that no, Because you've already met my dad, that, that works. Why else, how else could you pick it was my dad? Because he, cause he looks like me. Well, a bit less hair, but still. Because often we look like our mums and dads. The most common thing that people say to me when they meet Josiah is, he looks like you. And Alyssa gets really annoyed. <laughs> and today we're going to hear about Isaac. Now the problem with Isaac was he was just like his dad. And that meant that he made all the same mistakes that Abraham made. But there was someone who was just like his dad in a good way. And that's Jesus. You see, Jesus was just like his heavenly father. And that meant that he was perfect and able to show us who God is. And that's what we're going to hear about from Phil when he brings us his sermon. And we're going to learn how we can be more like our Heavenly Father and make less of the mistakes that our own dads make all the time. Now, before we give you your sheets, we're going to say the Apostles' Creed together. And kids, I want you down here because I want you guys to help each other to say this. See, the Apostles' Creed is a pretty important thing. It summarizes all the things that Christians believe. And so, guys, if you can read the screen, then I'd love you to say it with us. If you can't, I've got a challenge for you. I want you to listen really carefully, and when you go back to your seats, you need to tell your parents two things that Christians believe that we said all together. So all the people behind you are going to be saying it, so you're going to be able to hear it really well. And these are words that have been said, not just here in Narrabri, but are said all over the world and have been said for thousands of years. This isn't just something that... Narrabri Anglican Church made up, but this is something that all Christians everywhere throughout time say about God. So kids, make sure you listen up, and your challenge is to tell your parents two things that Christians believe based on listening to what we say. So everyone else, let's say the Apostles' Creed together. If you'd like to stand, you can. If you'd like to stay seated, feel free. Your choice. <laughs> So, church family, what do we believe? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. <laughs> On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.